the story for Batman Nightfall Volume 2 Night Quest is an explosive new Batman is at the helm. Bruce Wayne, battle broken and out of commission after his epic showdown with Bane, has appointed a new Dark Knight to keep the villains at bay. Jean-Paul Valley, aka Azrael, has assumed the role of the Caped Crusader, but without Bruce's integrity as a calming influence, Jean-Paul is swiftly getting out of hand alienating both Robin and Commissioner Gordon. Meanwhile, the hulking Batty Bane is still on the loose, while new villainous foes are introduced uh, onto the battlefield that is Gotham, including Master Marksman Murkos and Sinister Sniper Gunhawk. Also, watch out for the return of familiar faces such as the serial killer Abattoir and, of course, the eerily jovial Joker. Can the new Dark Knight face these nefarious challenges without, without Bruce Wayne and Robin? Might his violent manner of crime-fighting permanently cripple the already be beleaguarded Gotham? Well, I have to say, this is, um, Knight's Quest has, um, been rarely republished. I believe, if I remember correctly, it was only published in, in issue form when it was first released and was never put in graphic novel form. So this is the first time that I know of Night Quest is in trade paperback. And I have to admit, it was, although yes, slow and uh, slow uh, storytelling, it was good. It was actually pretty fun to read. I particularly liked segments with Catwoman. That was pretty funny. Partic particularly John, John Paul's uh, first interactions with Catwoman. He really didn't know how to, um, how to handle her. Because he was at first like, oh, she's a criminal. I need to take care of her. But at the same time, he's like, I don't think I want to because I'm attracted to her. And he's never had these feelings before. In fact, at one point, it was kind of hilarious. In the narration, he talks about how he has a first sexual dream about her. And it was hilarious, because he's never, because of the way he grew up and this and that, it was different, and it was just funny. Um, and it was interesting how how, Cat, how Catwoman is actually doing something good. She's not doing something evil, she's actually doing something good. It's just uh, John Paul didn't realize this, because he's not, this is, he's just starting out as Batman. He doesn't know fully all of, all of his villains. And this is uh, kind of a step of how Catwoman figures out that this Batman isn't Batman. That's one of the things that intrigued me about the Night Quest is that all his all of Batman's villains slowly realize that this Batman isn't Batman, and the Joker really got out and really got annoyed by that because his plan's going through, and then all of a sudden he just sees how Batman's fighting this, and he just goes, "Wait a minute, he's fighting. Di this is not him," and he just gets really and he just gets annoyed, and it's just like. This isn't. Uh, this, I can't do this. This is not the Batman I know. So it, it also plays an interesting psychology on the Joker because everything Joker does is for Batman, and when the correct Batman doesn't show up, he's pissed because there's no punchline anymore. It's like the jokes on him more than the jokes on Batman or the whole world. So he he just wasn't happy. Uh, and um, it was interesting how also with the psychology of Azrael, John Paul, because. He, because of the system that was implanted in his brain because of the cult, uh, the Order of St. Dumas, the, that cult, if, uh, if you remember from that we talked a bit about that beforehand, and also for fans who already know it as well. Um, and they kind of brainwashed him, he has a system in his head, and because of the system he's able to build a new armor, which as you see in the cover here, and also in the previous graphic novel as well, to fight crime. But the thing is also, he has part of his delusion is he sees these two spirits, one of the great warrior Azrael and one his father. And one is telling him kill, the other is telling him no. And he's just losing his mind throughout this time, and particularly with this serial killer Abattoir, who kill, uh, Abattoir's main focus is to kill every member of his family, every bloodline, so that he can gain power from them, like a life, the life force. And he, in Azrael's having difficulty because he's like, this person should be killed by the things of the mantle of the Batman. He doesn't kill. He needs to be taken to justice, you know, this and that. Well, it gets out of hand. He starts going mad, and the, the two spirits are hounding him. It's particularly at the end of the storyline, Abattoir is like hanging by his hands from a chain, and he's going to fall into melt, molten, you know, steel if he doesn't, you know, Batman doesn't have a help him. So Hezreel is just so mad at him because these spirits are kind of are just you know bugging him, and he's just like, I, I can't decide. I'm just gonna let fate decide, and lets Avatar die. Avatar just just can't hold anymore and falls in, and dies. And Robin sees this and is shocked. Everybody's shocked, and 
that pushes Asriel over the edge. He let somebody die, but at the same time he felt it was alright. The guy could have killed more people, you know what? Done. And he doesn't feel any regret, he doesn't feel good about it, he doesn't feel bad about it, he doesn't feel any regret at all. In, in fact, even the book, it just says he feels righteous. And that's scary, if you think about it. Um, and then also, what makes, what's also interesting is that Commissioner Gordon, usually, you know, flings black signal in the air, Batman approaches, or if Batman needs something, he always goes to Commissioner Gordon. Well, Commissioner Gordon is feeling alienated. He hasn't heard anything from, from this new Batman or anything. He doesn't even know it's a new Batman. It's just, he hasn't heard anything, and all of a sudden somebody dies, and he sees that Batman's now a murderer. And that's what makes him realize this is not the same Batman. After what Bane did, this is somebody completely different. And so, he sees Batman now as a menace. He sees him as a vigilante rather than somebody that's helpful to the police force in a way, a secret weapon, if you will. Um, the animation, the art, the art style is great. Uh, character stories are great, and the ending is actually slow but a soft ending because you get to see because Bruce when Bruce is now like fully healed, and he's at physical peak. But John Pavelli won't give up the the mantle of Batman because he still feels he needs to do what he needs to do. He's in this crusade to save Gotham City isn't finished, so he feels he needs to you know do. Be brutal more, not not necessarily kill everybody, but just beat the living crap out of them. And uh, Bruce realizes he's uh, shortly realizes he can't take Azrael on. He's not 100% yet. He's physically fit, but he's not. He doesn't have the reflexes or any of the other stuff that makes him Batman anymore. He needs to build that back up. So he needs to get training for it, a crash course, if you will. Um, Robin's character is kind of is is like he's. <clears throat> Robin's character is developing. He's like still in the beginning of being Batman's new sidekick, but at the same time he's like almost he's like kind of like a couple steps behind Batman in the way of reflexes, deduct deductive reasoning, and all that stuff. So there's a nice growth for there, and also him just keeping an eye on, on John Paul is kind of like he wants to do something but he can't because he can't you know step up to John Paul, which is sad. Um, a lot of good animation, a lot of good fight sequences, very edge of your seat. Uh, thrills with some in some scenes, particularly with Abattoir in that moment where we weren't too sure if Batman was going to save him or not. Um, so it, it was pretty. It was pretty enjoyable. I'll admit it's just a little slow. That's the only problem I had with it. it was just felt a little slow. But it was nice to get the whole story of Nightfall because, like I said before in the previous video, when I first read Nightfall, I didn't get the full story. I just got the main story. I didn't get to see all the subplots, all the different stuff. I quite I literally enjoyed all the different things, seeing all the different villains approach the new Batman with Jean-Paul, so it was, pretty, it was pretty dang cool, and I liked how the different villains realized that this is not the same Batman. I liked how uh, they each had their own different plots, uh, had their own different crimes. I also liked how um, just just the main focus was just the psychology of Azrael, of uh, Jean-Paul becoming Azrael, and how he really felt this was his crusade, and just letting the system fully take over and just become this menace. Um, and it was also just heartbreaking to see Commissioner Gordon just break, just not trust Batman, whether it was the same Batman or not, just not trust him. He just even says in the uh, graphic novel, he feels alone and betrayed. It's, it's heartbreaking, it really is. Um, there's just one more really big, thick graphic novel Nightfall to read, that is Night's End, where Batman takes a, you know, fights back uh, Azrael and gets the mantle of Batman back as well as clean up the mess that Azrael made. So, and also gain the trust of the police force once again, which I, I want to read. Overall, Knight's Quest is really fun, really good, just a little slow in some areas, but fun to, fun to read and, and it is enjoyable. I give it like uh, four and a half stars out of five. Like I said, the only problem I have with it is just slow. So, decent rating. Uh, highly recommend it for any Batman fans. You know, like I said, you get the complete story. The only problem is, though, with uh, with this, it, uh, at one point, Tim Drake's father gets kidnapped. And that subplot is not fully explained in this graphic novel, unfortunately. And I've been trying to figure out what happened in that scenario and, and with that plot online. So if any of you f know what it is, please let me know in the comments. I'm trying to do research myself, but if you know what it is, please tell me because you'll probably find out, or you'd know already what it is before I even find out, so, yeah. 
Thank you for watching and have a nice day and I'll see you next time on my next review.